What were you doing when the Twin Towers fell? I was in Brooklyn, New York in second grade in school. Schools are built vertically up, and my classroom was near the top floors. We had a clear view at Manhattan and the Twin Towers from there. I just remember seeing fire coming out of one, and my teacher running out the room screaming. We were all picked up by our parents ASAP, and by the time they picked me up, till the 30 to 45 minutes later, there was ash and debris everywhere. For anyone unfamiliar with NYC geography, Brooklyn is just across the river from where the Twin Towers were, so looking out your window to this is like a front seat view. I was in third grade, in a commuter town north of the city. The principal of our school went to every classroom and told us she has to tell you all something I hope to never have to tell you again after the first plane they hit. With the second plane they simply whispered it to each teacher. The teachers knew that 90% of the kids in our school had at least one parent working in the city. They knew some kids weren't going to be picked up at the end of the day. I didn't understand the gravity of what had happened for days, but to this day I have a fear of tall buildings falling or loud planes flying overhead. I can't imagine what it would have been like to actually witness it firsthand while on the top floor of a building at such a tender age. Oh my GD, the image of the teacher hit me hard. I'm sorry. I worked for a day trading company. We had data feeds from individuals in the towers. One person that did trading news broadcasts pretty much said, shit, the other tower is on fire, I'm getting out of here and left. Saved his life. I worked in Midtown, we had offices in the WTC. I remember women shrieking. It was crazy. I called my family to say I was okay, it was probably really early where they were, it was hard to explain on the phone what was happening. Guess that was shock. Ended up walking to a friend's act so I wouldn't be alone. It was like a weird apocalypse movie with all of the office workers walking through the park in the middle of the day. How was the other broadcaster feeling after he left the second tower? I worked in a building about one eighth mile from Grand Central Station. I was in my cubicle when a co-worker yelled for us to get to the conference room. We all watched the carnage on an old tube TV that was used to watch work-related videos. This was followed by everybody rushing to phones to contact people who were working in the towers or around the towers. We were then evacuated because we were close to landmarks, the UN, Grand Central Station, the Chrysler Building. We were all thinking about how close we were to a possible target. Someone was near Con Ed, but would they hit the power station or the building where they run everything? Friend was in the UN, we knew that was bad. I was only three when it happened so I didn't really live through it but it just occurred to me, in a different way, that you really had no idea what was going to happen next. Like obviously I knew that nobody could anticipate what would happen next, but that feeling of having to evacuate just because you're near a landmark. That feeling really resonated with me and made it real. I realize this probably made me sound like an idiot but wow, the pit in my stomach right now. I had a day of study leave and was shopping for clothes at a local market. I got home to find my dad absolutely losing his shit over the news. We're in the UK, and I had next to no idea what the World Trade Center was, I was about 18 and very naive but realized pretty quickly it was a major deal after that. I'm also from the UK and I was 14 at the time, got off the bus from a half day at school and came home to find my dad and uncle stood in the middle of the living room silently watching the TV. Given that he never watched TV, and they both are incessant talkers I knew serious shit had gone down. The first plane had already hit, but the second was yet to, so I saw it live. Even as a non-American, I will always remember the day the towers were hit. I was 11. I hadn't heard of the World Trade Center before the attacks. I knew very well what the Empire State Building and the Statue of Liberty were, but WTC was unknown to me. I live in Northern Europe. In social studies class in 7th grade and someone came in and told us the World Trade Center had been hit by an airplane. I had no clue that was the Twin Towers until they turned the TVs to the news. I was in the same grade in the same class. 
I lived in NY and thought the WTC was the giant globe at Flushing Park, for anyone outside of New York, it's called the World Fair. Caught the L at the Graham Avenue station maybe a minute after the first plane hit. From that side of the street, all I saw was a large plume of smoke and thought, I bet I'll hear about that fire later. From the other side of the street, I would have seen the towers. Watched the towers fall from Union Square. Holy crow, was USQ your final destination for that commute? I didn't see them fall in person as I hadn't moved to the city yet, but in 2011 I started a job in Flatiron and it always creeped me out that if I turned my head 90 degrees to my right, I could see the Freedom Tower clearly. Like, whoever sat at my desk on that day had a front row seat. I just got back to my dorm after an 8am calculus class. At the time, my default web page was Yahoo, and the news list had a huge breaking headline about a plane hitting one of the towers. I turned on my TV and within two minutes, the live broadcast showed the second plane hitting. My roommate and I sat and talked about how this wasn't just a weird accident, it was obviously terrorists, and shit was going to get crazy and eventually the first tower fell, then the second. Classes were cancelled the rest of the day and I distinctly remember the screams from a girl named Cassie just down the hall learning from her mom that her dad was on one of the floors above where the first plane hit and didn't make it out. She left for home the next day and never returned. My heart hurts for Cassie. I hope her family has been able to find peace. Man, those screams. I was passing by a house on my way to the bus stop to go to work a few weeks later, when all of the sudden, someone starting screaming no, not and a person's name. It was just pure, unadulterated grief. People had signs on their cars saying rescue all at a company, with the numbers, etc. Please come home. Or the names, so and so, please come home there were fire companies coming in from neighboring states to cover firehouses and provide ceremonial support for the funerals and memorial services. And the crowds outside the local funeral homes were 20-30 something year old people. Stationed in the UK. Had a full base recall. Recalled all aircraft from their sorties. Waited around a few hours for briefings. Then got orders to prep the aircraft ready for deployment. Aircraft were F-15 Strike Eagles. It was a very long day. Edit. I was not a pilot. I worked on the aircraft. My tech school instructor was working bombers at the time. He said they were doing a live weapon exercise that morning when they were unexpectedly directed something along the lines of cancel exercise, leave the bombs on, await further orders, this is not a drill. Damn that's crazy. Y'all were ready to head out. Wild. I was leaned up against one of those big tree planters outside the Paramount building on Broad, 30 blocks from Ground Zero, smoking a cigarette to try and calm down after the second plane hit, I felt the ground shake through the planter and rushed back in to find the first tower had fallen. It was one hell of a day. How far did you have to walk to get home? Getting ready for school, friend called me saying to look at the news. We ended up watching the news broadcast all day at school because my teacher said it had more historical importance than anything she was going to be teaching that day. Can I ask how the overall tone was in the classroom? Were people talking, crying or was it dead silent? I'm assuming this is high school. I'm curious because I was 6 years old at the time, not aware of the gravity of the situation. What a crazy thing to watch such a pivotal moment in US history unfold while surrounded by classmates. I was a 10 year old Dutch kid who had just finished sports practice and got on the bus to go home. I had chosen the seat right behind the driver and was enjoying the sunny day's warm glare through the window when I noticed that for some reason the adults getting on the bus would talk to the driver and other adults sitting in the front before going further back in the bus instead of just getting on and taking a seat like usual. So I waited a bit and sure enough there they went again. They were clearly upset, talking about planes having hit some buildings in America. It felt bizarre. Like people had gone crazy and were having some mass delusion. Planes? 
big ones, as one man emphasized. In buildings? M. Okay that doesn't happen. I didn't really understand. This was, obviously, a pre-9-11 mindset. Stuff like that just wasn't part of a Dutch 90s kids world. I also obviously didn't have a smartphone that I could grab and get a visual. So I shrugged it off as being one of those things you just don't get as kid. Of course when I got home and turned on the TV I realized that I had understood perfectly well what had happened. It was upsetting to see, knowing that many people had died even if I didn't truly understand the scale of the devastation. I didn't however for a second think about what the, indirect global implications would be, and there would be many. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox, guaranteed.